On set, I want to thank the European Business University for giving us women in Kenya the opportunity to be part of your women and leadership program. It's a program that has really supported us, a program that enlightened us, a program that enabled us even now to gain more skills, to enhance our leadership skills. And uh, I know many of the women who went through the program have benefited wherever they are. Some are within the county assemblies, we are, uh, as we are in parliament. Many of the women uh, who can be beneficiaries of this program are women who are women MCAs and I am going to really recruit them across board and uh, just try and push them, especially those who have been elected and many of them who have been nominated so that we start mentoring them to start building up into the year 2027 where they can also come out and vie. This is a program that I did and after that I went to my elections and I want to say I won the elections. We have women in business, we have women in different sectors who are beneficiaries of this program. And so for going forward, I think I want to push in more women who are in leadership. As you bring in other donors, it is important also now we start an outreach program so that you look at where these women are, those who have benefited in your program, what are they doing. It's a very good uh, uh, step ahead, I mean, to have Wi-Fi in Nairobi free. It's going to impact on many women, especially women who do business, and they're going to join the program. And if they join in into the program, I think it's going to build them. So for me, there are thousand scholarships that um, we are going to get for women is a step ahead. And I'm hoping the women will come in. So I'm going to look for women in trade, women in politics. That's why I was talking about the MCS and other women to join in.